Hello and greetings everybody. This is Jason Liptak here at my home office in San Diego and I am recording a short little video on a cool little um, feature that I've recently discovered in a uh, Word document. I've been doing a lot of, lot of studying on copywriting techniques and I um, wanted to point out this quick little trick for you. So here we are in uh, Microsoft Word. This is obviously an article that I've written and I've posted online. And what I'm going to show you is what's called Auto Summary. So to take, get access to Auto Summary, you go up here to Tools, click on the Tools menu, and it's right there. <laughs> it was right there in front of our face the whole time. So you go ahead and click Auto Summarize, and it's going to give you a couple different options on um, the auto summarization. And the reason I thought this was cool, because a lot of times you post articles um, on your blog or on article sites or whatever, and it asks you for a short uh, summarization or a brief description of the content um, you know, f before you post it online. Or you could even use this for your, you know, possibly for your meta tag description. Maybe not for that because if you're doing that for online SEO stuff, you want to have make sure you have some proper keywords in there. But this is certainly good for just uh, doing summaries in WordPress um, or on the article websites without having to sit there and think about how to do it. So, like I said, you go up to Tools. We clicked on Tools and Auto Summarize, and here's the menu. So you can auto summarize by highlighting the key points, and then you can pick also the percentage of of how much of the document you actually want summarized. So let's go with 25%, and what this is going to do is highlight the key points. So we're going to go ahead and we've got 25%, highlight key points, and hit OK. And then see now it grayed out the document except for these areas that it highlighted. So basically this is uh, auto summarization of 25% of your document. But if you're looking at that going, ah, that's a little too much, it's pretty cool because I have this neat little menu right here. And you just go ahead and click 20%, 15%, and so forth. So it's pretty neat little little trick you can do there. Um, and then if you don't like you know, the way it auto summarized, you can always just go ahead and hit close. Come back up to tools, auto summarize again, and then we could try uh, insert an executive summary or abstract at the top of the document. This one's pretty cool because it, this, this pretty much writes the auto summarization for you really without you having to copy and paste or anything. So again, you still want to, uh, you know, percentage of original. So let's do 25% again. And then you just hit OK, and boom, there's the summary. Now, again, that's kind of long for a summary. Um, so if you don't like that, in this case, what you're going to need to do, because there's no auto summary menu as, you, menu, as you see, you just hit Control Z on your keyboard, and it, and it undoes that. So again, come up to Tools, Auto Summarize. You could also do Create a New Document and put the summary there or hide everything but the summary without leaving the original document. So I don't really see myself using those two very much, but I definitely see myself using the highlight the key points option or insert an executive summary or abstract at the top of the document. So let's do this one again and let's do a lesser amount this time uh, since it didn't let us adjust it with the, the little menu up here. We're going to run it again. So here we got 10% auto summarization. Okay, and there we go. There that's a much better looking summary if you ask me. Again, a summary should just be make one to three sentences, maybe about 60 characters or so. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, again, this is a cool little copywriting skill that could just save you some time. A nice little tool here. Again, you just go to Tools, Auto Summarization, and pretty much follow the prompts. Reference this video if you need to. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. This has been Jason Liptak, live from San Diego, California. Be sure to find me on Facebook and also at my new blog, which is jasonliptak.com. I'll see you in the next video, and uh, have a great day.